All right, we're back in my garage now. Uh, I saved the good burnouts for a second video because nobody ever watches my stuff when it's longer than 10 minutes. I got that ball valve for the brakes working really, really good. Uh, I'll show you how that works at the end of the video. But uh, for now, smoke. If you're just seeing this project for the first time, this is the Explorer 8.8. Got a T56 in there, and this is an LR4 with LS1 and LS2 stuff to make it fit a car. Got some Labrador in it. Definitely gonna miss that lift that I was on, no doubt. It is nice to be back in my own garage. I got my cruise control all figured out. I got my air intake fixed. I'm working on coilovers and how I'm gonna add some more caster to this thing. 
I'm taking these stock Beretta coils out. These are seven inch. I'm putting in some two and a half ID coilovers. I got my rear sway bar here all final mounted. I just got to do my DIY adjustable end links. I'll show you how that works in another video coming up. Uh, but now that I have this here, I know how much room I have for exhaust. I got all that stuff ordered and that'll be one of the next things done. I'm going to take this cardboard on the old Camaro shelf here and turn this into a mock-up for my fuel tank that I'm doing for the back. Then i got to order stainless, do the baffles, and get that all done. And then, you know, eventually I will uh, work on patching all these holes that i got in here. Uh, I've got a trans tunnel to do, finish up the firewall, drive shaft tunnel, a little bit of patching, and then the trunk itself where I'm making that fuel, uh, fuel tank. Okay, so in here, right where your e-brake lever would be, i got this ball valve. And what that does is it shuts off the fluid flow to the rear brakes. Right here it's open. Here the fluid flow is shut off. And you can use it like a line lock, basically. So I've got a line lock in my Camaro. You hit the brake pedal real hard, flip the line lock, which is just a 12-volt solenoid, um, and it locks in your front brakes. And when you let off the brake pedal, your rear brakes release. I did this backwards so that this is in the rear brakes here. And what I can do is shut this off. And then when you hit the brake pedal, all you have is front brakes because you have no fluid flow to the rear. And the other thing it lets me do, I did this as a ball valve instead of a 12 volt solenoid because this is also my parking brake now. So I can have this valve open, hit the brakes just like I would with a line lock, flip this thing off, and then I have a hydraulic parking brake. Because I got no e-brake cables or hardware or anything that came with that Ford 88. I knew I was going to need some kind of parking brake with this thing being a manual transmission uh, in case I need to leave it running or whatever. Um, so I tested it on my driveway. My driveway is pretty damn steep. So what I did was I, I hit that uh, hydraulic parking brake just like you would for a typical line lock in the front. Still put it in gear because I didn't trust it. Uh, but I tried it a couple days later and it was still good. Uh, I pushed the clutch in and it went nowhere. So that means my hydraulic was still good because otherwise if it had tried to creep at all, you know, then it would have ended up sitting on the gear lash itself. And when you hit the clutch, it would have moved again. And it was rock solid. So I'm happy with that. Thinking about making some t-shirts for this thing. Uh, what do you think of this? I think it would look pretty sweet on a t-shirt. 